Jennifer finally leave Arthur on Howard's Way tonight at 9pm? Time will tell, but now it's time to meet the Thames men. George, how are you, sir? I tell you what, I still, I'm George, I'm in Los Angeles. I'm Alex, I'm in San Francisco. Peace, man. Uh, I, I, after your amazing magic trick the other day. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, And your 999 cape and a dodgy hat. 25 uh, quid. Oh, 25. 25. <laughs> sorry, I, I missed, missed under, underestimated and the it was value. Kids. It was kids, so when I got it, the cake strangled me and I couldn't get a hat on. <laughs> no, nothing beats, nothing, but sorry, I'm completely off. Your stag do, when your brother, and we had, so for those who know, when Alex got married, he had a he had a fantastic stag do. Bachelor a, party. Uh, where we, a bachelor party, uh, where uh, we rented a castle and we dressed as pirates. Yeah, and uh, this castle was uh, it cut Fort, off Fort Clunk. Yeah, it got cut off by the sea when the tide came in. Uh, uh, an absolute bona fide, you know, seventeenth century castle full of full grown men in pirate outfits. <laughs> but the point I was going to bring up at this point, and I don't know if we share any photos of this. I think we probably don't. But but Alex's brother, uh, who who happens to be called uh, George, who should remain nameless. Uh, he had ordered his pirate costume ahead of time and hadn't checked it. And so when we got down to the castle and we all had to get into our pirate regalia, his pirate costume was for an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the most ridiculous, like, costume I've ever seen. But he wore it in style. He did wear it in style. Bare midriff and all. It was yeah. pretty, it was... That was, uh, that was, that was I, uh, on my wedding day... Um, well, first of all, uh, lost a tooth. Uh, that, uh, no uh, names. No names. Oh, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll beat that out. We'll beat that yeah. out. He lost a tooth. So in, in the photographs, of, of the wedding photograph, you always see him in the background going like that. Every time there's a photograph. I had a huge black eye. Well, you got poked in the eye with a sword. You had a yeah. cut underneath yeah. your eye. You had to wear eye makeup. I had to go, I had to, go to Harrods <laughs> on my wedding day, and they did the makeup. And it was just like, <laughs> I remember getting back. We actually chartered a plane and we got back. And uh, and I remember walking in to see my bride-to-be and it was open the door that, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have you ever made a prank call to anyone you don't, you know, you don't know? Uh, no. Oh, yes, maybe, but I can't remember it. Long time ago when I was a teenager. Long time ago. So, yeah. Why, why no, do you I, have all I, these I, questions? Well, have you got like some like magic hat of questions that you? No, just I was just with? delving into my past. We used to make, we used to, we used to do. You remember? We, well, we used to do babysitting, and then we'd use someone's telephone. And we used to do prank calls, and we used to get there. Do you remember when we had telephone books? Yeah, we yeah, to, yeah. We well, go, yeah. <laughs> obviously, go down and then find like green, and yeah. then phone up and go, "Hello, can I speak to Mister Brown?" Go, oh, this is Mister Green. And we go, "Sorry, I'm colour blind." <laughs> I just wondered if you ever did any prank calls as well. Yeah, probably. I I, I can't I can't remember that stuff. I honestly you phone up. I do and... remember hacking into telephones. Oh, on the pager thing. No, <laughs> no, it was like it was uh, uh, the school I was at. Um, I, I it was a it was like a boarding school, and um, and, and there was only a payphone to call people and stuff like that. And we worked out where the phone line came into the building, and we we cut into it and we wired a handset into it and we had free telephone calls to anyone we wanted really yeah yeah it was great because there was a bit going around that they used to have these uh machines that you could put onto the receiver and it would do the dial tones mm-hmm. for your answer machine mm-hmm. so you could get your messages back but yeah. then also somehow some clever sod worked out that you could actually then do it to get onto the main get free calls with bt and they were selling them or whatever <laughs> <laughs> all to save 10p at the time yeah <laughs> Anyway, you're in the middle of the summer. This is our summer. So we've done a summer. We've done a summer list. We've had some absolute brilliant tracks. And we've got a Spotify playlist down there at the bottom. But this track, this I, this is this is this is the East Coast, East Coast summer track. Rock. Yeah. I, I, you know, we're, we're just sort of like, you know, 
kicking back, enjoying the summer days, and we've had some great tunes. Oh, so what's our next tune? Yeah, East uh, B-52s, Rock Lobster. Oh, Absolute yeah. Absolute bloody clap. I love the B-52s. Yeah, yeah, but but how many tracks? Like, you know, uh, uh, Rock Lobster is obviously the big one, Planet and Planet Claire. Claire was one of them. That's but, it. That's all I uh, That's all, all it was, was it, pretty much, you know? We're gonna do, we're gonna do the track uh, B fifty two Rock Lobster, but the reason why I love uh, uh, the uh, the Rock Lobster, obviously it's a great song, and we're gonna put a bonus video at the end of them really early on. Now I wanted I wanted to pick this track, uh, uh, this video, but it because the ending of it is epic, right? It is epic, and you could see where the B fifty twos were killer. Right. Um, I could, it was too rough to do at the beginning. So we're going to put it on as a bonus and play it out the end. And I'll do, I'll do the signal, uh, the single at the front, but I got some notes. Shall I read out? Yeah, read your notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. The group, let's see this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. The group of B-52s evoked a thrift shop. Uh, uh, what's that word? Aesthetic. Aesthetic, Aesthetic. drawn from the 1950s and 1960s pop sources, uh, uh, trash culture and rock and roll. I love that they just have beehives on there. Mm-hmm. You know, I love the backing singers. And I like the idea of, of the thrift shop aesthetic because that's one of the big things out here on the West Coast is like going yeah. through thrift shops, thrift shops. And, and, and like I do love good old flea market. And you can absolutely see that style turning yeah. up everywhere in terms of bits of furniture and lamps and weird. It really costumes. is, isn't it? It reminds, yeah, yeah, totally. it reminds me of your f- uh, flea, uh, flea bay lamps. My, 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 I, I, for those who don't know, which is probably pretty much all of you, I collect weird lamps from flea markets. And I've got some cracking lamps, but they I are mean, definitely a B-52 aesthetic. Yeah. It could be on a B-52 set. Yeah, it could be. Totally would. Yeah. Schneider and PSN and Wilson sometimes use cool and responsive uh, style vocals. And their guitar and keyboard instrument, uh, instrumentation is a trade soundmark, which also was also set apart from their contemporaries by the unusual guitar tunings Ricky Wilson used on their earlier albums. The band had many hits, including Rock Lobster and Planet Claire. Okay. The song's lyrics describes a beach party while mentioning both real and imagined marine animals. There goes a dogfish chased by a catfish. In flew a sea robin. Watch out for the piranha. There goes a narwhal. Here comes a bikini whale. With absurd noises accompanying each provided by Katie Pearson on the high pitch uh, sound with Cindy Wilson on the lower pitch ones. The chorus features Pearson and Wilson sing a long ha oh, with ascending pitch followed by Schneider exclaiming the rock phase. The rock right. lobster. The exclaiming the phase rock lobster. Absolutely brilliant, this track. It is a brilliant track. And it is just, you know, it is, you're right. It's the sound of a summer it's a beach party. It's like craziness. It's top down on the car. It's fun times, you know. That's summer. We're gonna watch this. If you, as I said, if you really, if you, uh, if you want to see something really unique, um, hang around, and we'll put the really, really early version of it that caught on video on the greatest video you've ever seen. But the reason why I did that is it's the last two minutes of that track is just mind blowingly great. Yeah, and interesting the thing about this this uh, this video, I just read the notes underneath it um, that it was actually uh, filmed in the Netherlands uh, on the set of a Dutch science fiction uh, <laughs> cave woman meets caveman t- TV series that only lasted one night. Uh, the next day, they used this set to make this video, so it's again a weird like setup. So brilliant! All right, let's do it. All right. Sound of the summer with the Thamesman, B-52's Rock Lobster, absolute classic, three, two, one, boom. We were at a party, the earlobe fell in the game, someone reached in and grabbed it, what a rock.
Absolutely brilliant. There is like, there's like an aesthetic perfection to that. Just like it, the uh, the retro, the sound, the weirdness, the look, the I that's so in my wheelhouse. That was it. They, they are so stylish. Oh. I mean, no one put them together. You know, no. No, it wasn't. It wasn't some like you know boy band. Girl. No one put them. They did that themselves, and the music matched the look and the fucking guitar work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and just like you only need to write that one song. Yeah. You know, and, and and you know if you play it right, that's that song is so iconic and so good and so weird and and um, I, I the backing vocalist. Yeah. Brilliant. I, I love I love the I love the, uh, the the keys in it. I love the I I love the syncopation of the singing and the answer call. And I love the cowbell. I love the guitar work. Yeah. The guitar work and he he was absolutely br- and all round the style of it is brilliant, 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 brilliant. The the style is as good as the track, which was brilliant. And the more I, like I mean, let's face it, we've all heard Rock Lobster 
a billion times. Well, I mean, not a billion, a lot, you know. And again, I listen to it again with headphones. I listen, and it's still fantastic. And it's still a perfect pop rock song for summertime. You know, it is just brilliant bit of music that. You know. Well, the video that we're going to play out with, we're we're, we're not going to react to. We're just going to let it play. It, you know, it it's a really raw. They're in a club. It's very very early on. They haven't been signed. They do rock lobster. It's so grainy that most of our viewers would have switched off. That last, you know, that last three minutes when they go for it mm-hmm. live, and one of the first, it's just one of the best bits of uh, live footage you can Brilliant. ever see. It's Brilliant. that good. Yeah. Oh, well, I loved that. I really loved that. I love that. Great. Just fun times. Good times. You know? Right. So we're going to put the, uh, these tracks that we've just done on our Spotify list down there so you can have a little summer track as well. Um, and I think I, I, I would like to do another summer week. Well, put your suggestions. If you've yes. got like like your summer suggestions, what sums up summer for you? And, uh, you know, like... Uh, uh, I, I, I I thought I may I say I, I nearly nicked uh, nicked nearly uh, put up Katrina and waves. Oh yeah, okay. Len, okay. still mass sunshine. Do you remember Len? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah that yeah. I thought that would be good. Zoe, um, sunshine after rainy day. Yeah. Does it have to have sunshine in the title? Obviously, they, not, no, not they lobster. don't. No, they don't. It's just the summer. But you know, it's I, I you know we did the Bill Withers. Um, you know, ain't no sunshine. And that was for England. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, Beach Boys, Rock Lobs. No, they're just good summer tracks that you go down the beach, you put on, and, you know, it's just fun time. We're in the middle of summer. It's great. We've just come back from vacation. Didn't want to get too heavy. You know, yeah, exactly. What choice, would you put on the list? Yeah, put it put it down there. Let us know what your summer track would be. You know, like the thing. I, I, I have a great memory. I had one particular summer uh, many years ago, and I don't know if there's summer tracks, but uh, so I wouldn't probably play them out but uh from uh jane's addiction and the album nothing's shocking and, and i spent a summer driving around with nick and some friends you know and i had a, a citroen 2cv and with this top roll back and we'd drive around the countryside listening to nothing shocking uh, and i just for me i always associate that with good summer times you know weirdly but it's not very well, summery. I'm, I'm thinking dancing in the street and you know and oh, stuff yeah. like that and um, yeah just good time party summer tracks down the beach absolutely yeah put your tracks down there i'd like to do another i'd, I'd like to do another it was fun i yeah. really enjoyed these tracks excellent all right and stick around uh, for your in depth b52s part 2 coming up Now? Now. I'd like to introduce the band. On gu- lead guitar, we have Snapper. <laughs> On drums, we have the former Pebble. <laughs> On vocals and tambourine, we have Cinderella. <laughs> On organ and guitar, we have Swoop Bagnell. And I'm Slack Thompson. This is called Rock Lobster.
don't forget, waitresses work for tips. I'm a waiter, I know. Mm -hmm.